What's up, everyone? Hope you're doing well. Today, we're going to be giving you the top 10 loadouts you can be using right now in Warzone 3 after the Season 2 update that happened this week. I'm still recovering from the flu, so if you're here for the last video and wishing me well, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And if you're new, I don't always sound like this, so my voice should be better by the next time we upload. Make sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that noti bell so you don't miss another video. Now, for these loadouts, these are in no particular order. You can always mix and match these. I always recommend use what's most comfortable to you, because if you're not comfortable, you're not going to be pushing your enemies. If you're not pushing your enemies, you're not gonna get more kills and get better at the game so let's get into it for this first set of loadouts i went with the mtz 762 this is my glitched build if you were here a couple videos ago i went over how to do this glitch i don't know if it still works but i saved the loadout so it's still saved in my inventory maybe it still works you can go try it but basically this puts on the 40 round mag instead of the 30 and then i paired it with a striker 9 i really loved using this in the new rank resurgence mode for this loadout we're gonna go with the vt7 spearfire suppressor o the mtz precision black thorn barrel the bruin heavy support grip under barrel the choreo eagles eye 2.5 times scope and the 40 round mag if you can still do the glitch if not use the 30 so this thing in the firing range here still barely any recoil on it and hits like a goddamn mac truck For the Striker 9, we went with the Sonic Suppressor S Muzzle, DR6 Hand Stop Under Barrel, the MK3 Reflector Sight here, or the Slate Reflector, whichever you prefer. I like the Lockman MK2 Light Stock, and the 50 Round Drum. This has one of the easiest recoils to control when it comes to the SMGs. A lot of fun to run. Next up, I've got the Pulmiat and the WSP-9. The Pulmiat did get a slight nerf again, but it was not anything significant. And the WSP-9 actually got a buff, which is crazy. But for this Pulmiat, we're going to switch back to the VT-7 Spearfire Suppressor instead of that Jack BFB muzzle. Stick with the Bruin Heavy Support Grip Underbarrel, that Jack Annihilator Bullpup Kit, which is required in order to unlock this Command D-15 Recoil Reduction Stock. Then use whatever sight makes you comfortable, but I'm using the Corio Eagle's Eye. Still the easiest long-range weapon to control when it comes to recoil. Just... It did get a slight nerf, but it's basically an ADS speed. And for that WSP-9, we've got a little different build than we normally have for you. I'm going with the Sonic Suppressor S Muzzle, the Hiss Short Light Barrel, the SL Skeletal Vertical Grip, Slate Reflector Sight, and the 40 or 50 round mag. This thing is just an absolute tank. Then for the two snipers you want to be running right now, which are one shot, are the CAT AMR and the new XRK Stalker. The XRK Stalker is one shot now, up to 50.3 meters, kind of like the CAR-98 was back in the day. For the CAT AMR, we're going with the Sonic Suppressor XL Muzzle, the Zang 34 Barrel, the Razor Hawk Laser Light. I like the high velocity ammo here, and I like to use the Ephemeral Quick Bolt. The thing about both of these snipers is they don't one shot in the firing range never do they can't ever seem to fix this firing range the way it's supposed to go so you'll have to try them and find out for yourself but you have to hit a headshot and they do one shot For that XRK Stalker, you want to go with the XRK Nightfall Suppressor XL Muzzle. I like using the Spire Point rounds or the high velocity ammo here. I switched the scope to the SPX80 scope, the XRK Stalker Light Bolt for faster reach aimbering speed, and the XRK Stalker Factory Grip for faster sprint to fire speed and aim down sight speed. You don't want to use a grip, use the laser and use the Razor Hawk Laser Light. Completely understand that line of thinking there. But again, like I said, will not one shot in the firing range. But the other snipers do, but they don't one shot in the game. It's so weird. But it does one shot in the game up to 50.3 meters. Next, a lot of people have been talking about the TAC Evolver. I didn't like using it when it first came out because it was just too slow, but they did buff it a little bit. And now I think it's very viable and very much in the meta now. And it's very usable, very little recoil too. So use it and have some fun with it. I paired it with the Striker here. Striker got another buff, which is kind of crazy because it is one of the easiest ones to control with recoil as well. So very cool there. For that Evolver, you want to go with the Jack BFB muzzle. I have been shifting away from this a little bit because they did nerf it. Um, recoil gun kick was at 60. They went down from 60 to 50. 55%, not a significant enough buff to just completely go away from it. So with things that are harder to control recoil, I went ahead and added on here like LMGs sometimes. But uh, yeah, this Evolver I think needs it. But with the Jack BFB really, really helps here. The Righteous Long Barrel, the Chimera Rhine 03 Vertical Grip really helps out that vertical recoil control. Corio Eagle's Eye 2.5 times scope. If you use the sight, if you don't use the sight, throw on those high grain rounds and the Rampart Heavy Stock. I think it's an absolute beam now, especially with no sight. 
a lot of fun to run let me show it to you with the sight so you can kind of get both viewpoints here I said very good with the sight as well Then for that striker, we went with the Sonic Suppressor S muzzle, the DR6 handstop underbarrel, the slate reflector sight, the MK2 light stock, and the 48 round mag here. And if you want to go to 60, you can, but I like the 48 round here. So nice. And it did get another buff, which is wild, but it feels really, really nice now. Next up is the SVA 545, still in the meta, did not get touched at all, which is wild. So the SVA 545 in semi-auto, use it. There's no recoil and it hits like a Mack truck. You use that and then I paired it with the WSP Swarm, which is still very, very usable. Not my favorite SMG, but a lot of people still run it. And I think it's still very viable. Top five, but probably not number one or number two for me. For this SVA 545, we're going with the Sonic Suppressor Muzzle, the STV Precision Barrel. I like the high grain rounds here. Corio Eagle's Eye 2.5 times scope and this 60 round mag. Use it in full auto or switch over to semi-auto have some fun For that swarm, we're going to go with the Jack BFV muzzle, the WSP Reckless 90 long barrel, the DR6 handstop underbarrel, the slate reflector sight, and the 100 round drum. I feel like this Jack BFV muzzle is needed because it's got a lot of kick now and it, this Jack BFV really kind of hones in that recoil a little bit, especially in mid-range. For this last set of loadouts, we got the new BP-50 Assault Rifle and the new Ram 9 SMG. These are immediately in the meta, and you'll see why, but these things are absolute beams. For this BP-50, I went with the Jack BFB muzzle, because when you add this, there's hardly any recoil on this thing. I like the Lore 9 Heavy Barrel, the Bruin Heavy Support Grip Underbarrel, Oreo Eagle's Eye 2.5 times Scope, whatever sight makes you comfortable, and the biggest mag you can add is the 45 round mag, which is all you need. I'll show this to you in the firing range. This thing is absolutely insane. Look at that. Just... Hardly any recoil at all. Just so, so good. Now, the 45 round mag does present some problems in quads. So if you're running this solos through trios, you should be just fine. Just be aware of the 45 round mag when you are in quads. Now, for this Ram 9, I used this thing straight out of the box the first day it came out in the Black Cell Battle Pass. Hadn't leveled it up, no attachments, thing absolutely shredded. Think of the Ram 9 as the Finnick on steroids. That's the exact way you can think about it because of the fast fire rate and the time to kill is kind of ridiculous. The TTK statistically is not faster than the AMR 9 or the HRM 9, but in the game, it sure does feel like it. So I went with the Speedway V5 short barrel, the DR6 handstop under barrel, the high grain rounds, the 50 round mag. You do need the 50 round mag on it because it does empty bullets quick and then the recon comb for more sprint to fire speed which is absolutely amazing the thing about it it does have some kick but pretty manageable recoil in my opinion a lot more manageable than the wsp swarm that's for sure again sorry for my voice but if you enjoyed this video make sure to hit that like button hit that subscribe button and hit that noti bell so you don't miss another video like this or like one of these we'll see you in the next one